Hey everybody, I'm KK. I'm Kristen. Together we are K and K Crochet. And today is Thankful Thursday. And yes, we are dressed in the same thing as another Thankful Thursday you're going to see because we are batch recording because of some things that are going on in our life right now. And so I need to get ahead of time so that we are prepared. So Kristen, what are you thankful for today? I'm thankful that my car's finished getting its work done and I got it back. It has been a long um, probably... I think it's been three weeks. No, nah, it's been more like five. It's been five weeks, and there was some time before that when there was another vehicle that was out of commission, um, and our son had borrowed our vehicle. So, for five weeks, we have been playing musical cars, and, like, they would leave early to take her to work, and then pick her up on the way home, or they'd get up in the middle of the day and go get her from school, and then take her to work. It was just a lot. It was a lot. So I also am thankful that she has her car back because that means that things are a little bit easier for us. One of the other things I'm thankful for is over the past three months, four months, especially since January, but it's been going on for about four months, there have been some issues in our life that have caused us to um, have to tighten our belt. I'll just say it that way. And to watch what we were doing and watch what we were spending and sometime in January I just got to the point where I thought I can't control it I can't change it there's nothing I can do about it right now so I'm just gonna pray about it and that changed my mindset and then little things started happening maybe little to some they were big to me because it meant that their money came from places that you didn't expect or things showed up that, you know, things were taken care of in a way you didn't expect. And so just answers to prayer and it made me learn to depend on God more for what we need. And so each and every time then I was more thankful and more appreciative for what we had and more at peace while I was waiting for things to change. And boy, am I glad that I was, because in the process of waiting for these things to change, um, we had something really good happen that changed them all at once. And so um, there was just some things that happened um, in at my husband's job that made things a lot easier all the way around for everybody. And so we're thankful for that. We're very, very thankful that things worked out and that God made a way and that, um, yeah, that things changed. And that's part of the thing we talk about when we talk about Bumblebee's Mountain Outreach and mental health is that there are mountains and valleys and there's always going to be a mountain and a valley. You're either on your way to the mountaintop or on your way to the valley. It's just the way it is in life, right? This is how life goes. And sometimes the way we perceive those things makes it worse for us than it would be if we just step back and say, there's nothing I can do about it. I can't change it. Um, it is what it is right now, and I'm just going to walk through it. And that, to me, takes the stress away of always thinking about it, because that's part of the problem. When you're going, what if, what if, what if, what if, I am the biggest what ifer you've ever seen, right? Mm -hmm. what if what if what if this happens what if this continues for this song what if this happens here what if this what if this what if this what if I what if myself to death and when you get to the point where the what if the what ifs become so much and it's overwhelming then you take a step back and say there's nothing I can do about it and I'm going to live with what today is because 90% of the time what if doesn't happen right so when you get to that point where you can step back and say, this is today, I'm going to live in today, I'm going to do what I can to take care of the situation, and once I've done all I can, I'm going to rest, and I'm going to let God have it. And when I got to that point, then everything just kind of flowed. It didn't happen overnight, it took some time, but it made my um, stress level much better. And we talk about, like I was getting ready to say, Bumblebee's Mountain Outreach, a mountain and a valley. You have to remember that whatever situation you're in right now, if it's a bad situation, it's going to change. If it's a good situation, it's going to change. But specifically, if it's a bad situation, 
You hear this said a lot. Don't make a permanent decision about a temporary problem. Because tomorrow it could completely change. Now I realize there are problems that seem long term or that are long term and they're very, very crushing. But still yet, there are avenues and people who will show up to help you get through those things. There's never a reason to make a permanent decision based on what's going on right now. And that's any decision. You don't make, what did I hear one time? You don't make decisions about jobs, relationships, and money when you're upset. I would say you don't make decisions about anything when you're upset because your mindset, your mindset's going to change. So today we are thankful for those times when we remember to be at peace and to let things roll and to remember that things are going to change. It might be four months <laughs> and boy was it a long four months. But you know, in that four months, I can look back now and realize that at the beginning, what I thought was going to happen, that was going to be really difficult, really 90% of the time, that did not happen. Like the things that were supposed to happen, other things happened to negate those so that things worked out, right? Things happened that it made it easier and made things more normal. So even when we didn't have a vehicle, um, you know, or we had one, but they were all being used by whoever. Um, we still managed to work through it. Mm -hmm. And as a team, I think it made us a stronger family because we had to work through it, right? So those are just minor things, right? Vehicles are minor things. They seem major when you have an issue, but they are minor. And it is what it is. So that's our Thankful Thursday t for today. And we hope you get something from that. And by sharing those things, it's never meant to bring you down or to make you think, oh, their life is... A mess. Life is messy. Sometimes ours is messy, but right now life is good, and we share the bad things so that you can know that you're not alone. So if you're going through a hard time right now, and you're like, I just don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, it's coming. It's coming. You just have to wait. Sometimes we just have to wait, and I'm not a patient person when it comes to waiting for things to happen, right? I'm like the kid you know, at Christmas that's always trying to peek in the package because I want to know what's there. <laughs> and I, I just want to know the answers, right? I want to know them right now. And that's not always the way God works. So just be patient as much as you can and remember that it's going to change, okay? It's going to change one way or another. Even the worst of circumstances have a... Sh a and silver lining yeah thank you that's the words I'm looking for somewhere along the way right you're going to meet somebody who's going to make it easier you're going to meet somebody who's going to walk with you you're going to be able to get through it okay so don't forget more than anything today to be kind because you don't know anybody else's journey and we are thankful for you bye, bye.